Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about Kafka. We have seen a different different way to process a Hadoop data. So we have a batch processing and we have a very important stream processing. So what did it mean by streaming processing? You know, sometimes we are getting a real time data. Let's say there is some websites are running and you want to understand like how many hits are there. Just take one example like Flipkart. So you know the thousands of or you can say a lakhs of users are continuously hitting to the Flipkart website. So there we need the data, you know, how many people are directly connecting with the Flipkart. So this is kind of in you know, a continuously data it is coming. So in order to process the continuous data or you can call it as a real time data, you can use the Kafka architecture. So in this video, we'll try to understand what is meant by Kafka and what is the component of Kafka. What I'm saying that if we want to deal with the streaming kind of data or real time data, definitely there will be a someone who will send a streaming kind of data. We call it as a producer. Producer is an application which will send a real time of data. Now we have a someone who is sending the data. So there should be a someone who is receiving the data. The application who will receive the data, we call it as a consumer. So we have a producer which is sending the data and then we have a consumer who is receiving the data. Kafka is basically behaving as a broker in between the producer and the consumer. And hence we are calling it as a Kafka broker who is taking the data from your producer and sending the data to the consumer. Now the collection of Kafka broker we are calling it as a Kafka server. In the Kafka architecture, you will always listen one word, we call it as a message. So in the Kafka world, message is just like a byte of array. Let's take one example. You know, you have one table and let's say there are 1000 records are the part of that table. Let's say you want to select that 1000 records. So what you will do, you will select one one row from that table. The one row, we are calling it as a message in the Kafka world. Now let's try to understand what is meant by topic. You know, we can have a multiple producer and since we have a multiple producer, there will be a someone we call it as a multiple consumer. Let's say one producer is sending the data related to the employee information and there is a second producer who is sending the data related to the employee salary. Now the person or the producer who is sending the employee related information that needs to be only received by the consumer one and the producer who is sending the salary related information that needs to be only received by the consumer two. So how it is possible? We are calling it as a subscription. Here in this case, producer one message will be subscribed by the consumer one and because of that only producer one data will be received by consumer one only. Now this is called a unique identification of the data we are calling it as a topic. Topic is basically a unique name for the data stream and the data which is sent by the producer and reads by the consumer itself. This is the basic information of the Kafka architecture. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe and share this channel. If you want me to create a more video based upon the Kafka architecture, you can ask me into the comment section. Definitely I'll be creating more and more videos based upon the Kafka itself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel.